So, I'm in the uh, Selkirk graveyard, the Old Kirk, 1747, yeah, two years after the massacre at uh, uh, where the Butcher of Cumberland did for the Scottish troops with the Murrays fighting, yeah, dubiously on behalf of the King, yeah, and here we've got, there are many interesting gravestones in the Kirkyard although many, especially the early ones from the 17th and 18th century, have deteriorated out of condition. F.D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president, that is him doing the bunny sign there. Yep, that is him that is the relative of Dillanoy on the Pilgrim Father's ship. Yep, that is Delaney's donkey, the joke about Jesus being the donkey in the Bible. Yeah, all of it out of Dutch fascist, yeah. Franklin D. Roosevelt, 1882 to 1945, when God had him taken down for demonising Stalin, yeah, as a totalitarian bastard, like he has been for all of his life. Yeah, the 32nd president of the USA was directly related through his mother to the Murrays of Philip Hawk, a family whose associations with Selkirkshire began in 1461 with John de Moravia, the Moravian way joke. Yeah out of all of the death camps in Poland in his great war, yeah, by some to have been the outlaw Murray immortalised in the ballad of that name, that is the names of the Murrays and the Murats that are in charge of the French regimes and the dialogue with the French in that massive treasonous Christian versus Christian, yeah, Queen Mary murders. <laughs> The oldest surviving stone can be found built into one of the walls of the ruined church. Yeah, so Franklin D. Roosevelt, 1882, six years before we got to Khartoum, yeah, with the Christian armies, that's the river of blood all the way down Africa, yeah, President of the United States of America, 1932 to 45, whose maternal ancestors are commemorated in the churchyard. Other stone, the oldest surviving stone, can be built into one of the walls of the ruined church. Yeah, nothing left. Yeah, the thunder and lightning storms could easily get through that one onto the altar. The oldest surviving stone can be found built. Uh, other stones and memorials of the ruins of the church. Oh, there's a Fletcher joke. Yeah, and there's a Scott. Uh, there's a uh, Aquid joke. Yeah, this is the Aquids that are David Steele of Aquid just up the valley there, a massive keep tower rebuilt for him at the country's expense. He's the one that went over budget for the rebuilding of the Scottish Holyrood Parliament, yeah, right next door to the Queen's massive pile in the constitutional monarchy treason that I'm being persecuted for exposing. It portrays a full length figure and from the coat of arms, Ike. Yeah, do you get it? <laughs> yeah, that's another president it can be deduced that this is probably a Scot of Harden who lived at Aquid in the mid 16th century now inhabited Aquid by David Steele and all of those NHS frauds in his garage yeah, all of the future of Syria funds with the Flemings on his conscience he has none yet yeah, that's Lord Steele of Aquid all over my webpage the other stone immediately to the left of the Aquid stone is to Patrick Fletcher Deacon of the Weavers Guild in 1676. Okay, the Anderson family, Andersons, yeah, and all of the Moira Anderson killing, doctor and provost of Selkirk, uh, wife of Mungo Park, and that's the Park Hotel Empire for the parks of Africa, and all of the brutalised countries that never get a life there. Thomas Craig Brown, manufacturer, provost of Selkirk, the author of the history of Selkirkshire. Yeah. And he looks as if he has his British American tobacco cigarette in a holder. Yeah, he has a cigarette holder, like Ian Fleming, also on the Future of Syria Fund, also running the banks in Scotland that become the Scottish widow's joke all over the world. The Lang family, lawyers and Sheriff Clark, one memorial recalls Andrew Lang. Yeah, Cosmo Lang was the corrupted uh, 
Episcopalian vicar who took the world to war and is featured in the stammering King's joke. Yeah, he is a member of the Speculative Society of Edinburgh, which is the massive cabal that runs the world and has dragged me into the court again today. Reverend George Lawson. Yeah, the friends of Bill McLaren, a much respected professor of theology, yeah, like the Murrays at Durham University. His sons and grandsons also become ministers in Selkirk. Andrew Park, yeah, do you get it? Mungo Park of Africa, lawyer and brother of Mungo Park, right up to the stealing of the Bank of England in 1814. Yeah, the whole of the world's money stream is now theirs. Tom Scott RSA, watercolour artist. So he's a piss artist and likely a member of the Scott bloodline, which is almost extinct now. Gonna stop there with that bunny sign and the launch yeah, of Delaney's Donkey. Delanoy is his middle name. That is Delaney's Donkey in the war. British American tobacco, the Batman jokes and all of the crimes against the people and the war dead.